are you doing, Jesse? Cold day here in central Iowa. I think it's in the 20s right now, lower 20, mid, it's cold. Jesse, let's go in the shop. Now, where was I? Neighbor just stopped by, had a, had a piece of mail. Anyway, Jesse, let's get in the shop. Come on, Jess. There we got her in the shop. Anyway, today I might get started working on the project truck. Gonna be pulling the transmission out of that, putting a torque converter in it. However, today we're gonna do a little unboxing video. Picked this up yesterday at the Friendly Harbor Freight Store. Needed to, look out Jess. Needed to get a transmission jack. And a lot of things at Harbor Freight may not be the highest quality. However, I've heard good things about this transmission jack. And the guy that really led me on to this was James from Central Oregon Shenanigans. Him and Kyle over there, they've done quite a few transmissions, engine swaps. They've recently got two Jeeps, Jeep Grand Cherokees, I believe. One of them, they just replaced the head gasket on. I think that one's up and running just fine. Another one, they just picked up a few days ago. I think they just put a video out on that and they were thinking, that was a head gasket. However, there's a little more to the story. I'm not sure if that's out on video or not. And there'll be another video coming out on that this weekend. They also have a, I don't remember what year it is. They have a Bronco they're gonna be doing some work on. They always seem to be up to something over there. A couple good guys. I'll link them down below. Central Oregon shenanigans, go check them out. If you like what you see, subscribe. They also do a thing most Saturday nights where you can send in a little clip of your ride or pictures of your truck, tell what you're doing with it and so forth. They put that on their channel. Kind of a neat little thing they do on Saturday night. But today we're gonna, we're just gonna open this up, get it put together, have it get ready. Jesse, don't eat the spray foam. So first thing we're gonna do is, we're just gonna clip these little bands off of here. You gonna help out there, Jess? And just pull them out of the way, which I better throw away or somebody is going to think she needs to eat them. Open this box up, see what we have here. There it is. Got the owner's manual. I assume a box of hardware and the jack itself. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out of here and we'll, we'll do what little assembly there is. So got this all out of the box. There's really not a lot to assemble here. Got the jack itself, the handle, and these four legs that you put on up here. You just put them on each corner. They sit there, these pivot around like so. Pretty simple, check the hydraulic fluid, bleed it out if it needs it. It also has at least two grease zerks, one there, one there. I might shoot some grease in those. Also comes with this chain and uh, I think I'm gonna use a ratchet strap instead of this, so I'm not even gonna bother installing this. You don't want them very tight, so you can move this around in and out. I guess I've got this chain and this little bolt here. We'll go ahead and attach this on. Probably not going to use it, but, uh, but we'll have it. This is supposed to go up over the top of your transmission. And then you can hook it over here, but I think a ratchet strap, you can't get this real tight around anything. I think a ratchet strap would be better. So we've got that put together. Got your handle, stick it in there and, and it'll fall out on you. But 
I think it'd be better if that handle was just permanently in there. But anyway, this is your knob to let it down once you get it up. And then you just release it down here. Not sure why they couldn't have put that in the handle or you turn it like a floor jack. But this handle will also rotate 360 degrees so you can operate it from any angle. You got some trays on each side of it. You can put nuts, bolts, whatever in there so you don't lose them. That's kind of nice. These, of course, adjust in and out. Got the knobs here where you can tilt it forward, tilt it back, and you can also go side to side. It has an 800 pound capacity, and really that's all there is to it. Like I said from James, and also I've read several reviews on this transmission jack, seems to be a pretty good unit. People really seem to like it. So I paid, I think it was $160, down at Harbor Freight for this jack, which, if it does what it's supposed to, seems like a pretty good deal. I believe the torque converter is going to show up tomorrow. I still need to go get some seals, also need to get transmission fluid, and then should be set to go, and we will know before too long here if, uh, if all the shaky shaky in the project truck is gone. If it is, which I think it's going to be, then we can start having some fun rebuilding that truck. Also, if you're interested, the maximum height, or at least the maximum height that I'm getting out of this right now from the floor is about 25 and an eighth. And now we'll lower this down and we'll see how low it is at its minimum height. And when it's cleared down, I believe it's about eight and an eighth, something like that. So I have a pretty good range there. I think that should work for getting that transmission out. That truck isn't sitting extremely high off the ground. Actually, it looks almost like a two-wheel drive. I'm going to lift it up on jack stands, get it a little bit higher. I don't think we're going to have a problem. You're going to put the green truck down in the old shop just to get it out of the way while I work on that red truck a little bit the next couple of days. I think it'll go in here. And to think I used to do everything down here. Not a whole lot of room down here. I don't know how I did it. You don't have a whole lot of room. Of course, when you're under something working on it, it really doesn't matter how much room you have out here, but. Now, where did that Jessie dog go? Well, there she is. I'm gonna trip over you, puppy. I'm gonna trip over ya. Now I'll get the red truck into the shop. Hopefully, the next time I pull this truck out of here, she'll be good to go.
Seems like that heater always turns on about the time I want to start recording something. Well, I've got the red project truck in here. Might get underneath there and start taking some things apart. Maybe, I don't know. I gotta go get my daughter here pretty quick and then I'll, I'll see what I feel like doing. Been working on getting my internet set up down here. I have this Yagi antenna. If I take it right on the other side of the wall here, I get about 40, 40 meg download, but I'm struggling a bit in here. I've got that in here before, but it might have been, it might have been when I had this door open. Right now I'm only getting about four meg download. So I'm gonna keep messing with that and see what happens. So that's about all I'm up to today. Not a whole lot, got the trucks moved around. Got my new transmission jack. Working on getting some internet up here, down here in, in the shop. So don't forget, Go check out Central Oregon Shenanigans. James and Kyle over there, check them out. I think you'll like it. Hit that subscribe button for them. And that's gonna do it for this video. Give it a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already. I gotta go find Jesse. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.